Whoo, what's going on YouTube? It's Donnie all day out here in a beautiful sunny morning in, I don't even know what month we're in, March, I guess. So I got to run to the gym, but today's going to be a special gym appearance. I'm actually going to do a little filming. And the reason is because I have some incredible student athletes out here in my hometown, Jackie and the crew. Y'all know who you are, some girl ballers who are just phenomenal and they want to be the best. So they're, they're looking to um, bump up their workout routines, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to film a few exercises that I do in the gym that would help anyone as far as gaining strength, um, getting yourself nice and shapely muscles, right? Something that's, um, that's going to promote you to be better at what you want to do, you know, athletically especially. It's just... But, I mean, just regular overall health-wise, it's going to be good. So, I'm not going to draw anything out with a bunch of this and that. We're just going to get to the gym, and uh, I'm going to show you guys a few things that I do in the gym that's going to increase your workout. It's going to make you better, stronger, faster, healthier, all that jazz. Hold on. All right, all right, all right. So, real quick before I get there, I'm going to show you all something. Now, you know, <laughs> I don't wear the whole mask thing. It's just not me I don't I don't do it I, I can't wear those masks but in the gym they require you to have a mask so what I did is I went to the dollar store and I got a pair of stockings for ladies stockings right and you can see hopefully this is why I'm driving so this is kind of tough with one hand you guys are on the steering wheel so basically what I did is I cut open this stocking you see how see-through that is this is what I wear for a mask Look oh, right there because I can still I can still breathe and it doesn't create all that carbon monoxide buildup. So if you guys are looking to make yourself a mask, <laughs> you don't wanna because they don't work. Masks don't work, it's proven. Um, let me tell you, um, <laughs> get yourself something thin like that. You can still breathe through it. So if you see me at the gym and all of a sudden you can see my mouth through my mask, that's why. All right, hold on. All right, so now you can see. Oh, <laughs> so this is going to be my mask. I don't know how this is flies, <laughs> but I don't have a problem going in with it, and I don't have a problem breathing, so I'm going to go get some done. Okay, so here we are. Me and Willie, we're getting ready to, to put up some weight, and... Uh, and she's loving this already. Plus, she knows it's for the girl, so it's good. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to have to flip this around, and I'm going to show you. We're going to start with something that's going to build your entire body all in one shot. This is going to be it, basically a squat, but it's going to be modified because we're going to use cables, um, which gives you more opportunity to really give yourself um, a better form and you're going to be able to fit your body to the workout rather than fit the workout to the body So let me show you how that goes form. When you bring the weight up Make sure you squat all the way down And you back up with the weight in your hands and Once you're there roll back to lift the weight. So here's un unpicked up picked up Just roll back safety and then all you're gonna do is stand up roll the chest up and pull down, all the way down. When you get to the bottom, give yourself a nice little pause, right? So basically, that's your workout. All right, so here's Willie. You can see her, how she stands, chest extends. This girl is a beast. She's a rock. Human piece of iron. So you can see how she's using her angle. And, and she's fighting that gravity with the weight to come up and just extend herself and roll those shoulders back. Right? This is how you get it done. So that's a good one. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is going to be for biceps. And uh, I call this the 100 curl curl. And what we're going to do is we're going to come over, we're going to grab a flat bar. You're going to take the weight 
to the heaviest weight you think you could do, like to where you might be able to get one, two to four, and that's it, no more. It's gotta be 100% struggle, right? So I'm just gonna throw in a bunch of weight, and then what's gonna happen is one person stays by the pin. This is a two-person job unless you can just keep doing it and you have to be up here with your head and really get it in. You're gonna start to curl. Oh my God, I can't curl no more. Once you curl your first rep or two or three or four and you can't curl any more reps, you put the weight back down, just touch it, just long enough for the person to switch the pin up one weight and you keep going. What's gonna happen is you wanna to get to a count of 50 reps. Once your 50 reps is done, you take your break. Then you go from, let's say, 50 reps started, let's say this was my starting weight. I just did three, the person went, oh good, switch it, good, go. And then you start curling, and then go. And let's say I stopped all the way up here, this was where I got to my number 50. So my next set of 50, I'm going from where I started to here, and I'm gonna split it. And then I'm gonna do my next 50. All right, so we'll show you how that works. All right, all right so here we go. So I'm gonna start with a very heavy weight. Remember to, when you stand up and you're waiting in the back one. That's how that works. So I would continue to go to 50, and then once I get there, then I take a break, she hits her first 50, then we split it, we get to 100. I'll show you what it looks like on the other end real quick. All right, so as you can see, she's hitting it, she's getting her curls in, and what's gonna happen is I'm gonna wait. When she can't curl anymore, I'm just gonna move that pin up, I can see her getting so, so I wanna go as fast as possible, put it in, and bam, she's right back into her curl. So, do this, two sets of 50 just like that. No pausing, no stopping, no resting. Get it in. Oh, I missed. So that was her only, her only pause. But you can see the concentration, it's just all strength, it's all power. Get to 100. You can do this with triceps, and I'll show you one or two reps. So triceps, you can do the 100 triceps, same thing. She's just gonna move them up and down, just like that. Now notice her elbows don't leave her sides, right? Her elbows don't move. If you're doing triceps and your elbows are leaving, here, hold this real quick. So it's very, very important. As you come down, you want your elbows locked. So you should only be going just above the, the bottom of your chest. You don't wanna come all the way up here and then all the way down. Come up, bottom of the chest or a little bit higher, just break parallel and then press. When you come down, really lock that tricep. So elbows are pinned, I don't want this. This isn't a tricep. If your whole arms are moving, you're using too much weight or you're just doing it wrong. So make sure to keep like that. Press that. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you is happening on the Smith right here. This is a Smith machine, you guys all have one in the gym. I put the bar all the way down there and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bench press with it, but I'm not gonna use a bench. I'm just gonna lay on the floor and I'm gonna, it's, I'm just gonna call restarts. I'm gonna just keep doing pauses and I will show you what that looks like, hold on. So you'll see when she comes down, she makes a full pause. She actually stops her motion at the bottom, then goes. What this is doing is just refiring the muscle. She's getting a restart. So she's pausing her weight, letting her muscles relax, and then she's shocking the muscle with another lift. So every single time, it's just to re-shock the muscle. 
beautiful. All right, so so Will is about to do some a leg press routine that I came up with a long time ago. This is the only routine that's going to work every single muscle from hip, from glutes basically, all the way to gastrocnemius all in one shot. So first things first, you'll notice she's doing shoulders width apart, right? She do five reps. Right now we're only gonna do three, but she's gonna do five reps of that, pause. When she pauses, nope, up top, she's gonna raise her feet as high as possible, just getting her knees up. This is gonna work inside the center of that quad, and she would do five reps here. Now remember, there's no, there's no stopping. She do five and then immediately switch her feet. Now frog legs. So now her toes go out and watch her knee position, how she goes out. These are no joke. Her knees are spreading outward. So she's not going back, she's going out with this. So she would do five of those. Feet and knees together, dead center of the board. Now when you come down, you're gonna notice her knees and feet stay together the entire time. She's not letting her knees flare out, right? So after this position, oh, you know what we gotta do is the bottom. So bring your feet all the way to the bottom so your toes are on, a little bit wider. And then do no, straight legs though, straight, not frog legs. Yeah, now come down with your feet straight. Now go ahead, go give me some of those, uh, three of those. No, 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 not calves, just full, full flexations. Come down, full presses. There you go. Yep. Yeah. We never do these. Yeah, no, this, one, this one's I added before. Go ahead, go a couple more. So now you'll see this press. See how her knees are buckling in because all that power is staying to that front of the leg. All right, now hit uh, calves. So once she's done with that, what she would do is five of each of those positions, and now she would do 15 calves. So that is something to add to your repertoire. So the last one I'm going to give you guys, and these are things to add to your workouts that you're doing already, is a lat pull down, but it's a different kind of lat pull down. You can see the back of her legs are pressed against the, uh, the knee bar, right? She's coming up. See how upright she's standing? She's standing perfectly straight. She's not leaning forward. Watch as the weight comes down, her head stays back so she doesn't hit herself in the face. Watch her chest rise as she comes down. She's not just pulling from her back, but her core right now, her core is getting an insane workout. And I can't show it to you, but it's really happening. When you put your legs back against this knee board right here, and you come down over the head, that works out everything here. It's all core. So she just gets completely tight and completely badass. Hold on. So, so these are all things that you can add to the workouts you're currently doing. Um, and if you add them, it's going to just blow you out of the water as far as, as far as getting your bodies in tuned faster and harder. You're going to get harder muscle. You're going to have harder muscle. You're going to be able to lift more and you are going to be chiseled and strong. Everything is just going to add strength. These last ones that she just did, the overhead pull downs, are just going to build your core up in such a way that you'd never even guess just by leaning your legs against something and using your pull downs. Remember, standing straight up in the air, lift the chest after every single repetition, and that's it. So, I hope you all get your workouts in, get big, get strong, be bad, be big, be bad, be nasty. Um, be big, be bad, be awesome. That's my saying. All right, so so that's it. We're gonna go and we're gonna uh, fire up our workout. Everybody be strong. Later.